Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tree's tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to connect Wix to Shopify. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So on this video, we're going to be using a tool to enable you to set up automation and streamline your process between two platforms, which is Wix and Shopify. Imagine you have Wix for your website and Shopify for selling things. They don't talk to each other on their own, but there's a tool called Zapier that helps them understand each other. Now let's start on to logging onto your Wix account. So this is actually pretty simple. As you can see in here, you'll just need to type in your email or you'll have the option to continue with Google, Facebook, or with Apple. So if you don't have an account, you can also click on to sign up onto the upper part in here. So you'll just need to follow the prompts to continue. So since my account is connected to my Google account, I'll just need to click onto this one. Then right after, you'll be headed to Wix dashboard. Now on this part, we'll just need to click the website that we've made already so that we could integrate it to our Shopify account. So for this one, I'll click onto my store. Then right after, you'll just need to scroll down in here and click onto automations. Automation on Wix are like personal assistants for your website. So they're like little helpers that can do tasks for you automatically without you having to do them manually. So they can actually do a lot of things. They can send emails, move things around, update information and more. So they're really handy because they save you time and make sure things happen smoothly on your website without you always checking. So just click on create an automation and then you'd be able to see the different automation that Wix offers. So you actually have two options for this. One is to choose from the suggested automation or you can also start from scratch. So for this video, we'll just need to choose from the suggested automation. So you can see around the categories, we have sell more online, engage with clients, retain customers, get paid on time and manage businesses. You could also see the start from scratch button in here. And here on to the right side, you can actually see the automations in here. So for this video, we'll choose the engage with clients category and we'll choose this one, the welcome new site members. So as you can see here onto our automation, our trigger is when you site member. So you can actually edit that one here onto the right side if you want to do so. So you can check in here, you have the price codes, invoices. So you could also select the member approve or member login. I think we're just gonna stay on to new site member for this one. So you could also limit the frequency to this one. So you could have once per contact and once per contact every 24 hours. Now let's scroll down and head on to action. So this is what will happen right after there is a trigger. So the selected action as of the moment right now is to send an email, but you have other options as well in here. So you'll just need to choose onto what will happen for your trigger. You can add in the sender's detail and you can also add in another action if you want to do so. You can duplicate the action, delete it. So you'll just need to click on to delete and then right after you can see a blue button onto the lower part. You'll just need to click onto that to activate your automation. Right after you'll see a green banner onto the upper part of your screen seeing that your automation is now active and ongoing. Then you'll be redirected onto the automations page and if you'll scroll down in here you'll see the status, the last time it was edited, the name and the rule of your automation. Now it's time for us to introduce the magic tool that we're going to use which is Zapier. So this is like the magic bridge that connects Shopify and Wix, helping them talk to each other even if they usually don't. It's like having a translator between two friends who speak different languages. So here's how it works. Imagine Shopify and Wix are two people holding hands at a distance. They want to share information, but they can do it directly. That's where Zapier comes in. Zapier acts as the middle person, passing messages between them. So for example, when someone buys something on your Wix website, Zapier catches that message and then tells Shopify about it. It's like saying, hey Shopify, a sale just happened on Wix. And the cool part is that Zapier lets you set up what happens next. Maybe you want Shopify to send you an email about the sale, or you want to add the buyer's info to your Shopify account automatically. So Zapier will follow the instructions and making things happen seamlessly. So for signing up onto this website, you have two options, which is to start with free email or start free with Google. So we'll just need to choose which one do you prefer, and then right after you'll be redirected to Zapier's dashboard. 
Now the first thing you'll need to do is to head onto this Connect This app and then you'll need to search for an app in here. So the app that you're going to put in here is Wix Automation. So as you can see, we have Wix Automation in here. Click onto that and then right after onto the other one, you'll need to click onto Shopify. Then right after, let's click on Create Sap. So here's what you'll see right after. So the first thing that we'll need to update in here is the trigger. So you'll just need to click onto this one in here. Then right after, you can change the trigger in here using the search bar. So let's search for Wix Automation. So you'll just need to click onto that one. So right after, we'll need to add in a step in here. So what we're going to be searching onto the search bar is Shopify. So you can see that one in here, you'll just have to click onto that one. And as you can see, we have already successfully connected the two website. What we'll need to do is to check onto the missing things that are needed to be done. So we'll just need to click onto the status and check the next steps that are needed to be done, starting for Wix. So you'll just need to fill in all of the details that are asked, such as your account. And here, you'll need to add in the trigger. So we'll need to add in a custom in here. So let's add in send an email since that is our automation that we have onto our Wix website. Now going back, you'll have also the option in here to test the automation, but you can always skip onto that part. So once you've finished all of the information for the first website, go over to the second website, which is Shopify. So you'll just need to complete all of the information that are needed in there. So since you've done already the trigger in here, you'll need to choose the event on what will happen right after the trigger is enabled. So for this one, let's click on create a customer. So we could try to choose that one and continue. And right after you can connect your Shopify account in here. So you'll just need to sign in. For you to be able to give access to your Shopify account, you'll need to put in your link in there or the domain link so that you'd be able to proceed. So you'd be able to find that one onto your Shopify setting here below onto the name of your website. So you'll just need to copy onto that one and paste that onto the website and then click on continue to Shopify. Now it will ask you to choose an account. So you'll just choose the account that you're using. And then right after, you'd be redirect to Shopify's website and you'll need to install Zapier in there. So you'll just need to click on install app onto the upper part of the screen. And right after, you'll see it onto Zapier's website that you have already successfully connected it. So you'll just need to click onto the continue. And right after, just onto the same thing that we did to trigger, you'll need to choose an action on what will happen once the trigger is enabled. So you'll just need to fill in all of the details that are asked in here. So once it is done, the automation would work. So right after, you'll just need to click on to continue once you're done and then you'll be able to see the details in here for you to be able to test it out if it will really work. So once done, just click on to publish. So just wait for it to be published and you'll be able to see the green banner onto the upper part that it is already done. And, and then right after, you will be opted to create another zap. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this guide has been insightful and empowering to you. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tutorials. And until next time, happy connecting and automating!